Okay, so what we're here to do today is to have a look at how I would utilize my BIM360 coordinate, uh, what was formerly called uh, BIM360 Glue, or the clash, the model coordination module inside of BIM360 Docs on how to clash check a single model. So in this particular case, all right, I'm the only one working on this model. Um, but let's say, for example, um, inside a business and, you know, we've got multiple people working on, say, Rapid Server, or we've got multiple people all working on one model inside of BIM360 Design, right? So we don't have multiple models. So what we want to do is we want to figure out, or let me show you a way where you can connect together out of a single Revit file and still get clash detection happening nice and smoothly inside of your BIM360 coordinate or your model coordination that runs inside of BIM360 docs. So what you can see here is this is my complete view of my model um, and I've created two different views. I've created one view for the concrete which essentially leaves behind all the concrete elements that I want to see and another view for the structural components or the steel components if you want to refer to that right so just the steel side of things so that and, and these are the two views or these are the two elements or groups of elements that I want to clash so essentially these are my rules so to speak right so it's important before I save this file and upload it to BIM 360 docs or BIM 360 coordinate um, we need to make sure under the collaborate tab in the publish settings we have a brand new set created with those two views in it, right? Ideally, the clash detection set that you create, you just want the views in there that you want to clash, nothing more, right? And it'll make a little bit more sense as to why you want that shortly, right? So the idea is I create this, I save this, um, and then I go and upload it to the cloud. Okay, so inside of BIM360 Docs, I've got my model coordination module. Um, I need to make sure in my project management module, um, or project admin, I should say, um, that I choose or set up the admin resources for the model coordination or the clash checking um, accordingly. So what I've done is inside the plans area, I've created a folder for my particular clashing. Um, and you can see here the, the folder, it's, it's pathed under a specific location. You'll see that path here. It's currently active. Um, all I did was I literally just hit create here and then browsed to a particular location inside my plans folder of where I want to create that clashing. Now you can see the path itself is models and drawings slash single model clashing, all right? So this is all I need to do to set it up from a admin perspective. If I come back into um, the document management module, okay, so we click, we reload that. Right, so you can see here when we first come in, we're in the plans area or that models and drawings area that we referred to. There's our folder for the single, uh, single model clashing as specified in our admin area. And I actually created this folder before going into the admin area, right? I've uploaded my Revit file into this folder. And you'll notice that the name um, of the two line entries that exist in this folder is the name of the view plus the name of the file, right? And this is by default. And if I upload any Revit file into that plans area, it will only extract out every view that has been set inside that published settings. So if you remember, we determined the published settings inside of our Revit file. That controls what's seeable when you upload it to BIM 360 docs in general. But when I upload that file into a folder in the, the plans area or this top section, as opposed to the project file sections down the bottom, each view that's in that list gets extracted as a single line item. And this now gives me two views to clash against inside of my uh, BIM 360 uh, coordinate, coordinate, co coordinate product, which gives us that model coordination module. 
So now that I've actually uploaded it, and I've literally just hit upload files, I'll drag and drop the files in. Um, if I come here and come into my model coordination area now, you'll see that the two views that I had in that previous folder are also listed in that initial um, area under uh, models. So you can see the two models there um, exist. And literally, I can click and reference these in together at any point in time, right? If I go to my Clashes tab, um, and, and this is real time. So the, the, the literally the second that file has been copied into that folder, this data that you see here is visible straight away. If I click on this 72, you can see the 72 clashes between the concrete uh, view and the steelwork view, right? So if I click on 72 here, the system loads the two models one by one into the viewer and also arranges all the clashes for me to be able to see um, uh, everything visibly in the model. So everything that's green is, is, is one model, everything red is another one, and you'll see the clashes that exist because the members that don't clash, they're translucent, right? Now I can do this one of two ways. I can literally click on here and it will zoom me to that element and you'll notice the colors change from being a very, uh, from a bright, from a, a dull gray to a very predominant, uh, sorry, a, a dull green and red to a very predominant green and red. And I can click a whole bunch of these things and add them together as part of a clash set. Or I can literally, um, if I was to just pick on this element here, see it highlights inside the model as well, right? Or if I click on this column over here, um, I may choose that, you know, this is a problem. Someone needs to go and resolve it. The design team hasn't really taken this into account. This needs to be fixed. So what I do is I create an issue and I pick a point where I want to create that issue. I can change its title. Um, I can give it more information or more description. So, you know, I can say concrete column clashing with steel beam, whatever you like. I'm going to assign it to Alan and tell him that he needs to have it fixed by Wednesday. And I hit create. Now that assign that issue has now been registered in the system. Um, and you can see there's 71 issues left to resolve. And you can go through an issue and resolve those issues as, as much as you like, right? The important part here is now, um, and I've done this twice now, um, I had 73 originally. You'll notice when I go to the assigned area, I've got two clashes that are assigned. I've got 71 active issues with this model, or this view rather, remember we're only in one model, and 124 with these two, all right? If I had have closed some, there'd be a list here of the closed issues as well. Um, but the beautiful part is I can come in here and click this hyperlink and it takes me straight back to the model uh, just as we saw it before. Um, once it's finished loading, there you go, and it shows me my, uh, this is the clash that I created earlier, shows you the current uh, issue itself because obviously there's a workflow attached to this, whether it's open, answered, closed, subtypes, data, you know, I may say this isn't a clash, you know, um, this is not a clash, we'll get fixed on site, obviously wishful thinking, oops, let's fix that, I can't spell, hit send, Alan will now get a message to say that it's not a clash, um, which in theory is not true, right? However, so what you see here, you'll see this is issue 49 and issue 50. If I come back to the documents area, um, the reason this issue is available is because BIM 360 Docs actually has an issue service where you can create issues on 2D files, 3D files, and the, the, the BIM 360 coordinate or the model, um, the model coordination module that exists as part of the BIM 360 coordinate um, allows us to utilize the issues inside of BIM 360 Docs. And you'll notice when I go to the Issues tab inside of Docs, I can see the same issues, just 
uh, the, uh, obviously I'm not filtered by the type of issue, whereas inside of model coordination module, um, I'm filtered purely based on the subtype. Um, but the beautiful part is I can come back into here and that activity that was previously logged is still existing. If I need to add some attachments, they can be added. I can choose to answer it, close it out, um, you know, all those sorts of things. So some of the stuff can be done from here, can be done from here, uh, from the other place as well. Um, and there's a whole lot more that you can do with this issues service. But the main thing that we're trying to highlight here today um, is the fact that if you want to clash all those different views, you've got to create multiple views, okay? Um, and then upload that file to that folder inside of that plans area, which in this case has been renamed as models and drawings. All right, thank you for your time.